And when she offers you that giggle, you just say yes. Um, you may not even know what's so funny, but because she's laughing, you're laughing, and you just say yes and go forward. Stop. Without them, on a daily basis, we would not get these mills out. And every volunteer knows Graciela Hernandez. You know, it's, it's, it's people's, people's commitment to helping each other, and to come in here and find this group of people is really, a, really uplifting. It's really great. Um, it's, um, well, it's a program that I was sort of peripherally aware of, and to actually see it in action is really fantastic. Uh, clearly, we have a huge a burden to, to keep it going, and um, I hope that, uh, I know I will, for one, for, will try to keep participating in whatever way I can, and hopefully the rest of our, my town will as well. Certainly, what I, what I have felt, my, my mother passed away a few years ago. She was 88. She lived in West Menlo Park. I think at one point she was a recipient of Meals and Wheels, but the importance of this program, I think, in my opinion, is that it creates independence for, for a lot of seniors to live the remainder of their lives in their homes. And I know for my mom, that was really important for her. She wanted to enjoy her garden. She wanted to be in her house. She wanted to be in her neighborhood, even in the, the last years of her, her life it gave her a sense of the independence and, and being. And so by being able to provide meals, that contact, and also um, the drivers definitely wanted to acknowledge and thank you because I know how important that everyday contact was to my mother, um, just being able to, to have regular contact with someone and a, and a smile and a, and a, and a chat. Um, I think that really helps our seniors, and so I'm very grateful for this program. Um, um, but I wanted to congratulate uh, Peninsula Volunteers, uh, 65 years plus the uh, the meals, 35 years. It's amazing in, 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 in our society today that things last that long in any way, shape, or form. Um, so many people have a vision of, of, or a view of the Peninsula and Silicon Valley as this, how can I put it, almost like a, a land of Oz, with gold you know, on the streets. And certainly there is, but there's also people that need help. And this is an organization that stands for that and delivering them food every day, as was mentioned by my colleagues up on the, on the, on the stage here, uh, an independence, uh, a visit, a social interaction, uh, all things that are wonderful that, that this organization does. So uh, thank you very much for inviting me again today and the congratulations on all of the years you've been doing this. And uh, we'll go from there. Mayor. Uh, for Redwood City to be here and to, to see the work that you do. And I know from the community members in Redwood City how much it is appreciated. Uh, it's unfortunate in a community, in a county as wealthy as ours, that there are still needs like these. But I think the fact that you leverage the incredible volunteer base that you do and the giving um, is, is a a blessing to our community. I know that uh, from my own volunteer work, you, you get more than you give sometimes, the, the benefit that you feel. But on behalf of the city of Redwood City and our residents, I wanted to uh, present this to you and to thank you for the years of work and to say that we all have our work cut out for us in the future, making sure that you, you do succeed and that you're able to um, respond to the people who really need our help. So congratulations. What makes me really happy is to see a lot of familiar faces from three years ago, which says to me that this is an organization that has deep heart and commitment from so many people, that they understand how important this service is, that they want to be a part of it, and that it's just something you do. I, I think those of us who volunteer know that you volunteer because you're compelled to, because you feel you just have to help. And what goes along with that so often is not being noticed and not being understood how important what it is that you're giving really is in the community. And food is about as elemental as it gets. We all have to eat. And human contact is pretty darn important too and to see those little faces light up is really really something but, you know what a great organization to allow the elderly to uh, have uh, well checks and um, I'm just so
thrill, and it's such a personal experience for me to uh, have this opportunity to serve today. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the California State Legislature, Assembly Members Kevin Mullen, Rich Gordon, State Senators Jerry Hill and Leland Lee, we'd like to present this resolution recognizing the 65 years of service, devoted, dedicated service of the Peninsula Volunteers and the 35 years of Meals on Wheels program who have served over 70,000 meals annually in San Mateo County area. I wanted to let you know, one thing I wish that we had put on there was the 35 years of caring, of comfort, and that's what I wanted to say on the resolution is that we recognize all the services, the more of all, the comfort. Thank you very much. Just tell me briefly, from your perspective, why it is that Sequoia Healthcare District finds Meals on Wheels to be worthy of support. <laughs> well, Bart, I would say that uh, we have lots and lots of organizations that ask us for funding. And one of our jobs is to be very sure that this taxpayer money goes for organizations and needs that are, we're sure are going to be met appropriately. And Peninsula Volunteers is one of those organizations that we just don't worry about. We know they're going to do a great job and we can really invest this money and know that something good is going to happen. That's great. Lee? I think it's uh, very easy to take basic things for granted and one of the reasons that I'm so proud that Jerry and Kim come out on a day like today and other board members in the past is they really get to see firsthand exactly what who the residents are and what a great need uh, it, this program provides. And, uh, so uh, thank you for everything that you do. It's truly a, a wonderful service to the residents of our community. Great, right, Kim. I just believe that this is a crucial service that we owe the seniors in this community that have made our community so successful. Thank you. So, if somebody asks you why you don't just teach these people to fish, what are you going to tell them? They are fish. <laughs> tell us why you think the county values the program. Well, there are so many people that are in need here, and the county really appreciates the services. 275 or so meals uh, served a day to needy people. What's greater than that? Well, what's greater than that is when you said you are going to help us serve another million meals. I'm going to help you serve another million meals.